Hi everyone, in this video we demonstrate the use of the XOR bitwise operator. So I've got a function that takes two values and they are passed as 2 and 4. And um, 2 is represented in the binary digit as 0, 1, 0, 0 and for 4 it's 0, 0, 1 like this. And so the to compute the um, XOR result uh, is if there is a 1 at any of them, but not both, then that's going to give us a 1, the rest being 0. So this is going to give us 0. Uh, since there is 1 at any of them, but not both, then I get 1 for that one as well. And again, I've got 1 here, but not there. So they, um, again, if they are different, we get 1. But if they are the same, we get 0, like this. And so this is actually equal to 6. You can see this is the binary representation of 6. So if I run the program, I'm getting the value 6. Let's take another example of this. If this is 7, then this is represented as 111. OK, and so um, now let's do this again. So this is going to be 1, 0 and 1. They're both different and there is one at one of them. These are both the same, so we get 0. These are different, so we get 1. So there should be 1 at one of them, but not both of them. And this is they are, these are both the same, so we get 0. And that's actually 5. OK, so we get a value of 5. Let's run this, and we can confirm that the value is correct. I hope this helps you understand how the XOR operator, or bitwise operator, works. And I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.